I know I had some music playing, and then the guy, Ara, still part of my team to this day, he was like, what's this music? I was like, it's mine, I made it. He was like, oh, it's all right, you know? He was like, you're fired. I was like, what do you mean I'm fired? He's like, you're fired. You can't work for me no more. I'm like, what? And like, my son has just been born, do you know what I mean? At this point, I'm living in this shed. I'm literally living in a shed with no sanitation. Wow. And um, he said, you're fired. And I was like, oh, I can't afford to do the job, mate. I've got to feed my kid. And he's like, I'm going to manage you. And I was like, what? He's like, you're like a mad talent. Like, you're not just an editor. And then from there, things just, you know, things kept evolving. But basically, the, the moral of everything I'm saying there is that I removed myself from my circumstances and created my destiny. And if I'm capable of doing that, anybody and everybody is capable of doing that. And all it takes, really, is for one person to believe in you. Yeah, yeah, and do you know what? I'll even back you up because I remember when we were growing up, when I was a bit of a wild case yeah. myself, with my cousin. Yeah. I said, what are you doing? What are you doing wasting your time with your man? He ain't gonna make no dough. We've got to make dough on this, we've got to do that, you know? And it's, I remember, I remember, I remember trying to pull my cousin away trying to keep him involved in bullshit, you know, and I remember you, you focused hardcore.